Hey y'all, welcome back to Santino Sunday Cigar Review. This week we're going to be doing the Romacraft uh, Chromagonin uh, Fomorian. It's got a really nice Candela wrapper, so stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Santino Sunday Cigar Review. I'm Mike. This is our host, Maddie, and MC for the show. We kind of have a different format since Maddie um, can no longer smoke legally, but she is a certified tobacconist, so she will um, so be guiding us along in the in the coming weeks. Maddie? Yeah, so uh, down on the basics of the cigar, so it's got an Ecuadorian Connecticut Candela wrapper, so that's that nice green wrapper that you see all over this cigar. Uh, Candelas usually are pretty light and mild, but that's really contrasted with the binder and filler that Romacraft has put in. Uh, they put in a Cameroon binder for this, so if you notice on Mike's cigar, it has that nice creamy smoke. That's going to be that Cameroon binder coming into effect. And it's still got a little bit of that classic Romacraft potency because they use the Nicaraguan uh, filler all throughout the cigar. Now, Mike, what are you really experiencing with the first third of that cigar? Well, first third, um, it, 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 for me, it's a great breakfast or, or, or early morning cigar. It's light. Um, I, ta I, I taste a little bit of hay. Um, I understand it's supposed to, but the first third is supposed to taste a little grassy and sweet. Um, I can see the sweetness. It's, it's very mild. Like I said, it's great with a cup of coffee early in the morning when you just get up. Um, but that's kind of where I'm at. So I get a little bit of hay, a little bit of hay and grass. All right. Uh, so another note that a lot of people have been talking about with that is the uh, pepper, pepperness, uh, the black pepper note with that Nicaraguan filler. That's going to be pretty common as well. Are you experiencing any of that? I, I am, but, but in a different kind of way. Like for me, as you guys, you know, know my taste, I don't like a heavily uh, peppered or spicy note in a cigar. This is this is probably the most mild, mm -hmm. peppery, spicy Nicaraguan cigar that I've had. So that is a pleasant treat. Like I, you know, when, when I... When you had mentioned this before we got on air, I thought, oh, another one of these peppery cigars, and it, it's been it's been pretty pleasant because it's been so subtle. Yeah, yeah. So a little bit of facts about this cigar. So what happened is is that uh, this is the from their Cro-Magnon line. It, it's basically the same thing as the Cro-Magnon EMH. It's just that the Fomorian uh, has the Candela wrapper on it, which. Uh, I guess the people at Romacraft decided to put on. Uh, the Fomorian actually, so as you know with Romacraft, they name all of their stuff based off of uh, uh, ancient humans and stuff like that. The Fomorian was a mythological race believed to be the first tra tribe to inhabit Ireland, which if this is being a green wrapper in the Emerald Isle kind of makes sense for them to name it after some Irish tribe. Um, you got I, I, one more comment I'd like to make is, yeah. you know, when you when you talk about a Connecticut or a, a Candela wrapper, there's a lot more Connecticut's out there than Candela, but we're in winter, we're in the dead of winter here in St. Louis, Missouri, and it's extremely cold outside, and I was a little nervous smoking this cigar because taking it out of the humidor and letting it rest for a minute before we lit it, I thought that the wrapper would start cracking, breaking, you know, coming apart, and it hasn't. So um, kudos because this is a tough time of year um, with the, all the weather, drastic weather changes. Yeah, and that really that really lends itself to Romacraft too because uh, two of the three main parts of the cigar, uh, the Candela and the Cameroon Binder, are really not known for their for their weather hardiness. Like the Cam Cameroon wrappers on most cigars, you have to keep them nice and consistent only really smoke them in the summer because otherwise they will fall apart so that's a really that's a kudos to Romacraft on me for that one yeah I would say and 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 you know everybody you know has their ideas or their choices or their styles but you know I don't believe this would be a great outdoor you know in the wind type of 
cigar. I think this yeah. is really meant to smoke indoors because it's a little bit more delicate of a, well, extremely delicate wrapper compared to a normal cigar. Yeah. Well, I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, Mike's going to smoke a little bit more into this and we're going to see how it goes. Hey y'all, uh, so Mike smoked back into it a little bit more. Um, so what are you picking up on it now? Well, I was a little worried because um, I had kind of read a little bit about this cigar um, and it was supposed to be in the second third. Um, the candela was supposed to be really, you know, sweet like sugar cane and I wasn't picking it up. And then Maddie, you know, you had mentioned, well, you're drinking a cup of coffee and I had sweetened it up with a lot of uh, fake sugar. And so I wasn't picking up anything subtle on this cigar as far as the sweetness. And so I cleansed my palate with um, some carbonated water and started smoking it again. And there it was, it was that, that subtle sweetness. I guess you could call it sugar cane, you can call it whatever you want, but um, it made a big difference. But it was, yeah. it's great with coffee, but I didn't pick up the taste until I cleansed the palate. Um, now, the other um, thing I was, well, so far, and, it, and it, as you can see, folks, it, it's 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 a, a burning symmetrically. Um, I, it's been an effortless smoke. I have not had to relight it, other than the initial um, light. Um, so yeah, it, I, I'm I'm enjoying the the second third, and I'm kind of now switching back between coffee and the carbonated water, and it's it's good. Yeah. Um, so with that cigar, it comes in a 5x56, uh, it comes in a 5x56 size, and I know that you don't really like cigars. I was say, do they make, do they make it in a smaller ring gauge? Sadly, they do not. Oh, son of a gun. Anyway, um, so with that, uh, the, I know you don't really like the larger ring gauges, and I wanted to see, like, how you would react to this, because I know this is a perfect... Um, if you're in the summer, this is like a perfect back porch. You're watching the sun come up with your morning cup of coffee cigar. Um, and, but I say the summer because if you look at Mike's cigar now, the candela is starting to unravel a, real, a little bit. Which just, just a little bit, just yeah. because of the lack of humidity in the air. Like I mentioned in the first segment, we're in the dead of winter and it's really cold outside and dry. Yeah. A lot windy and things, so... Like, for, I know for a fact, and I had this yesterday, um, I actually brought in a hydrometer into the main lounge area, and then, so the hydrometer in this lounge is about 51% right now, and that is, it's a 20% jump almost between the 68 that we keep the humidor at here, between that and this, and that's going to cause any cigar, no matter what, to have a little bit of defect issues and stuff like that. So you have to be really careful about this in the winter time, because otherwise that'll happen. And I don't want instantly. anyone to jump to any conclusions. Well, your yeah. humidor is not uh, humidified enough. It's at 68. Folks, we could achieve re real relative humidity, Yeah. not actual humidity. So we don't have to go that high because this is a perfect system that it's a closed system set up. So um, yeah. Anyways, and I've done a lot of my own experiments at humidors at my house on what's the perfect uh, humidity variation and everything like that. And I have found that 68 uh, prevents uh, mold from growing on your cigars, but it also prevents um, your cigars from splitting and cracking like a lot. Of what would happen if you kept it lower? 68 is really the perfect number for what I have found. Hey y'all, we're gonna get to everybody's favorite segment now, the try, buy, or deny. So Mike, what do you think about this? Wow, I'm, I'm all over the place with this cigar. I probably have more feedback on this cigar than we've done on any, any show. Um, for me, it's definitely a try. It's definitely a buy. And I'll tell you even more. Um, it is probably, for me, the, the best, mildest cigar that I've smoked. And there's some real classics out there. I mean, people, you know, recognize Perdomo 10th Anniversary as being a great mild cigar. And there's a whole bunch of great mild cigars. AJ's New World um, Connecticut is considered to be, you know, phenomenal um, mild cigar. But this is just hands down, it, is, it has been 
steady, smooth, consistent all the way through from the first lighting of it. Um, so, I mean, this, this could be somebody's everyday cigar, or at least every morning cigar. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing, you know, we, we joke about this almost every time on the show. Um, I just don't like a big ring gauge. This is just a little too big for my comfort, but the cigar itself is just phenomenal. Now, Maddie, I do have a question. What is the price point of this cigar? So the price point on this cigar is uh, it's in that sweet, sweet 8 to $12 spot. Uh, here at Santino's, it's priced at, I think, like 11 I think. Uh, I'll have to double check that. But it's in that nice sweet spot where it's uh, pretty affordable, but it's not going to be, you know, absolutely it's gonna be in that nice sweet spot that we always talk about which I think is really good for that cigar considering the Cameroon binder and the Nicaraguan fillers that are included and for it being that mild of a cigar and it still has that Nicaraguan filler on it I think is an astounding cigar by Roma and, and that's the other thing I, I should have mentioned and forgot when you think of a mild cigar you think of Dominican tobacco. Mm -hmm. People tend to think that that is not as full flavored as a Nicaraguan. So you're getting all the cool benefits. You're getting Nicaraguan, you know, uh, filler, but you're 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 still. It's just such a great, great, great mild cigar, which you don't think the two mesh or meld or yeah. go together. And the other thing is, I think people, most people, think that a Candela wrapper is a novelty. Okay, it comes out around St. Patrick's Day with the filthy hooligan and stuff, but you know what? I don't know if people realize, Maddie. Maybe you can explain. But in the in the in the in the um, aging process, when they hang the tobacco to get to the candela stage, I don't know how. I forget how long it takes to get to that stage. But it, it it's just it's just hung and dried. Yeah. And then when it reaches this green um, color, they pull it and they they make cigars with it, right? So uh, it's not a, a, a novelty. They just don't tend to make many cigars in this candela. They they wait till it ages further from the green stage into the browns. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if you, you know if, if I'm describing that correctly, but um, it's not a novelty. I, yeah. I, I enjoy it. Yeah, I think it's gonna the, be a little bit more difficult to smoke in winter unless you're in a nice climate all year long. Yeah, I think the Candela wrapper is criminally underrated in the cigar world, but I think it'd be a great wrapper for. Uh, people to start out with and especially if they're trying to just start getting into cigars I think it would be an amazing uh, This would be an amazing cigar to pick up for them as well because it's gonna be Not too powerful where they're gonna be knocked down for a couple of hours, you know with uh, Some nicotine sickness, but it's gonna yeah. be nice and perfect for whoever's starting out with it And I'd love to see the guys at men and women at, at Roma craft make this in a 48 or 50 ring gauge yeah. I think this would be a super seller at that that's going to fit everybody's yeah hey y'all thanks for watching this week's episode of Santino Sunday Cigar Review uh so we're going to be having an event this week uh there's going to be big discounts on boxes uh make sure you check out the website and Facebook for all the information that comes with that what's the date on the event uh the event is going to be on February 21st yeah. but um 5 p.m Yep, so uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications um, whenever we post these uh, weekly. And don't forget here at Santino's, we drink, we smoke, and we, we know, know things. things. Have fun, y'all.